Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today we're gonna be planning, okay? Start off here. We got my bone meal all ready to go. We got two different types of soil. All right, we're going with uh, this soil right here. It's got a lot of great ingredients and everything in it. We also have some of this right here. We're gonna use that for doing the wife's plants. And then, first thing we're planting is my potatoes. And as you can see, they're ready to go. Now I did order these potatoes from a company and they came in, I followed the directions. They said put them in a box with light, room temperature, 70 degrees or above, and they'd sprout and Lord, look at them all sprout. So we're gonna be planting those in these potato bags that I got. All right, these potato bags are pretty cool. Got them right off Amazon. They actually have a flap that's right down here that you can open this up. I'm not gonna open it all the way because I just got it all sealed up. Open it all up and grab your potatoes out of there. So, let's get going. Okay, so with doing potatoes and stuff, from what I've read, you have to have a nice soil that It's like a sandy soil. You want to make sure that it has, you know, it's nice and, and light and fluffy. You know, it doesn't pack down. It's, it's nice and airy. And this way here, you know, your potatoes can, can grow. We're gonna put a little bit more in there. in the bone meal when you're doing your bone meal and you're putting it into a container of any kind when you're using your bone meal it tells you to use like two or three tablespoons of bone meal and we're just kind of kind of measure that out a little bit and then what we're gonna do is mix this up really really good folks you have to make sure that this is really mixed up good because you don't want it to burn any of the plants. You just want all that great nutrition in there for your potatoes. All right. Now, we're gonna start taking some of these potatoes So you get the so you get the sprouts and they're like right on the top so we want to angle these towards the tops of your containers now depending on whatever you may be reading about and everything else there's a lot of different ways of doing this. A lot of people say you mound them as they go. I have also been doing some reading where they say you can just pile it in here, especially if you're doing it in a container. If you're doing it outside, like in your garden and stuff, then I guess you want to mound them as they keep growing, keep mounting them up. But as you, if you're doing them right here inside a container and stuff, you want to just, uh, from what I've understood and what I've been reading, you can just bury it right up there and fill it right in. Take them outside and water them. Now, I'm gonna put just a little bit more of the bone meal in the top part here. All right. And that first bag is done and ready to rock and roll. You see how it looks there, folks? All 
and that's how we do our potatoes. Okay, folks. So we're going to run a little experiment. We have one potter plant that is done with this potting soil. And then we have one that's done with this potting soil. So we're going to see which one does better with my old potatoes here, folks. We'll see. This one's a lot more expensive than the other one. So we're going to do our own tests. This one here has the regular miracle Grow in it. And this one here is the Fox Farm. It's also got the, the earthworm castings, the bat guano, and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to see how these work out. And see what goes first here folks now these are my potato plants that I planted in the buckets and you can see here they're doing quite well this is six weeks of growth out of my 90 days this one's doing really well here and you can see right down in there she's doing good so hopefully we get some potatoes out of that one and then this one over here the wind got it, so I had to turn it around, so it kind of blew it around a little bit. But these little containers are really good. Like I said, they do have these straps right here on the side. I don't know if you can see that right there. So, hopefully we're going to be getting some potatoes in about 90 days. So this is six weeks of growth, and the potato plants are doing real good. They love the heat. You got to figure down here in Florida with the uh, temperatures and everything else is so hot. They're growing really well.